Now this program is called the Internet Worm Maker Thing. And it's a little bit different than the social media worm because this is intended to spread really through any vector. And this tool actually gives you some more option in terms of the executable itself and how we configure it. So we can give the worm a name. I'll call it uh, Wazworm. Author version information by default. This worm outputs its information to the C drive. You can change that to whatever drive you'd like. We can modify how it spreads. You can even choose some of the languages. And remember I talked about worms and viruses and their phases and dormancy is one of those. So you can choose when the payload will activate. Could be by date, could be at random intervals. And here you can choose the types of things that the worm will do. Maybe it will provide a message of some sort. Maybe it will open a website and download additional information. So in that sense it could be a staging piece of malware. And I can create print messages. You can do almost prankish type things like change the desktop. Some of these are a little more malicious than others. But really I think tools like this are more or less to learn about malware for educational purposes. So you can see there are many other options. You can change the wallpaper. And then you can even add custom code if you look on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and generate the worm. So it's created a Visual Basic script which I mentioned earlier that batch files are probably the most common type or simplest type of worm. And I would say Visual Basic or VBS scripts might be the second most common type of worm, at least historically. We could take a look at what was written in the source code. And then we can go execute the file that was created. You can see my little message pops up. And where this becomes extremely annoying is that it repetitively pops up and starts utilizing system resources. Now this, in this instance, is really more of an annoyance than anything, but I've actually configured this to restart the system as well. So shortly you'll see that the system will shut down and restart on its own. Until then, I'll keep fighting with these notepad messages and Windows pop-ups.